These people are crazy on this goddamn show, and I cannot and will not. Can this please her up and in now? I prefer doing Miami over Love and Hip Hop New York any day. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the first crazy, Cayenne. Cayenne, I was rooting for you, and I was cheering for you, and... Well, you didn't put your hands on the little stiff-looking heifer, so I do give you that much credit, but... Did you think um John Craig was in court or something telling him to raise his hand and swear to you? To every word that that ladder you get? You must have got to take your mess or something that day, Cayenne, because I don't understand. You want him to swear to this ladder, hold his hand up like he in court, and promise he won't break your heart or treat you wrong. Okay, Cayenne, we gonna pray for you. And I hope your meds start to kick in before this season ends. Before the reunion starts, and I'm pretty sure that's probably it with y'all, and we probably gonna see no more with y'all, cause they was wrapping up so many people um storylines on this episode, I think, at least I think they was. So we'll have to wait and see to the season finale until we get to the reunion, I guess. Um... Cayenne, I understand you was hurt in the past. I understand man treated you bad or whatnot or whatever have you. Okay, Miss Court Jester. Okay, um, George Cayenne. We gonna let you have that. And I So you said you didn't show him the cat. Then you turned around when um Cayenne messy ass brung you down to the um Jaquay music um music video, then you said you did, and what would the other people think about me showing my cat to other people, but you showed this to a room full of people, and now you don't want it to get out, like the other people in the room, not you'll show your thing to everybody, won't you, I hope you keep it covered at the reunion, because I don't want to see your cat. Look like you were sure that anybody that shows any type of peak interest into you, I see. You've been wanting Jaquay for how long? Ever since you backed it up on him, flirted with him, played with him. Now I guess you wanted him to see it in um St. Martin. Now you didn't show it to him. Now you embarrassed. And Cayenne told you right, even though, well, no, I ain't going to take it back. Cayenne told your ass right. You going around, you is a trash can, you is a dumpster. You talking about some, she need to control her man and maybe he won't be staring at me and other men won't be staring at you. So you like other men staring at you and you like throwing it at anybody that bestly take it. Cause Ruben ain't hitting it. Cause Ruben ain't hitting it. So you okay with showing it to anybody, maybe they would hit you. Rich dollars wasn't enough for you to show you to keep the cat down and cover the cat and keep it covered. I guess you want more trouble. Cayenne told you right. I probably would have preferred Cayenne put her hands on you, even though I call her crazy and don't kind of want to see her snap like she did in St. Martin running on the beach like a crazy person. But I think if she would have put her hands on you, it probably would have been justified. Even though they is dating, it would have been justified. I still say that. Because somebody need to teach you, you is a married woman, right here showing your kitty cat to anybody that is showing any interest that you are a uh, anybody that'll look at it, basically. So, somebody need to beat you down or punch you in or slap the shit out of you. Somebody need to teach your ass some manners because you a thought ain't anybody and everybody. And, Jonathan, while I'm on your case, I mean, while I'm on um, NIE's case, let's get on your case, too, Jonathan. I don't know if you and NIE's friends like that, but I wouldn't tell that here for none of my goddamn business. I won't even much tell her if I got two cats or five dogs staying with me, to be quite honest. That here for gonna go tell your goddamn business, and to top it off, she jealous of you and Yandy relationship. You just... I ain't gonna even much call Yandy a trash can. They ain't even much show her this episode. We'll deal with her next episode. But you jealous of Yandy, of all people. Hmm. 
So you not okay with sharing a guzman. You best to want the guzman to yourself and you call Yandy Steph and I bring the party with me everywhere I go. So you best to the party and the, the kind of party you throw that you will lift your skirt up and show your cat to anybody that a look home. And if you want to go in a dark corner or a, a hole somewhere in the bathroom, you okay with that, just as long as you don't tell nobody that we had sex. Mm -hmm. Jonathan, I don't know what gutter you got NIE from, from, but please take her ass back. Give her back to the gutter. We don't want no parts of NIE, and I hope she ain't coming back next season because I can't and will not with her. Um, yeah, I covered the Jaquay Cayenne situation, covered the Jonathan situation, the NIE situation. This fake friend bullshit. All y'all girls need to... Y'all need some self-respect, all of y'all. Bianca, especially you. Dream doll, your mama told you correct. She told you everything correct, and I'm glad you listened and paid attention. Because I don't understand you. Bianca, even though I love her, I don't expect nothing less or more out of her at this point. I mean, this the end of the damn season. About the end of the season, and she's still trying to fight hoes and mad cause friends cause where well, they ain't friends, where they making up squashing the beast like Bianca, it ain't really that serious why you mad at um Mariah Lynn. The reason you jumped into the fight, well, the reason Mar Mariah Lynn jumped in the fight because of Dream. Dream brought um, Mar Mariah Lynn into this fight. Now you mad because she making up or playing nice with Britney all of a sudden, and now you feel some type of way about it. Your beef, basically, we got, the, we got the whole gist of your damn beef. Basically, DJ... DJ, whoever he name is, he was basically trying to start this shit. He was trying to start a rob a robbery between y'all two, um, Dream and Britain, Dream and um Bianca. Somehow the dream, the beef became deadly and. Brittany, as she say, Bianca was trying to steal her style, trying to steal her look, trying to be like her, and that's basically where the beef started at. I do think, Bianca, that that man did kind of put some words in your head, some type of words you didn't want to hear, probably helped spread the drama in the beef that made the beef come explosive as it did. Yeah, that man kind of did take advantage of you or whatever, though. But, Bianca, make up with Britney. Like, this been how long, y'all say? Too damn long to count? Okay, then it's time for y'all to at least be cordial in the damn room. Or at least say hey or bye to, hey, hey or bye to them when you see them in the same room. I mean, seriously, you gonna sit here and fight this girl to your death, right? Cause you ain't gonna get her hand on it. The best bet if you gonna get your hands on um Britney is throwing the shoe at her, possibly pulling her hair off her head. That's about as far as you're gonna get at Britney, unless you're gonna attack her or beat her ass at the reunion. So it's time to let it go, Bianca. I know you feel some type of way. I know you don't like Mariah Lynn or not feeling her at the moment because she made up with Britney because it was really pity why Britney and Mariah Lynn was fighting really. It, it really was. Like, it was uncaused for a dream brought her into that. And I can understand why her and um Britney made up and how they got some type of understanding. Now, your issue is with Britney. That's your issue. Leave Mariah Lynn alone. That, that that girl trying to change. She trying to grow. She trying to be something other than fighting on these damn shows. And you need to take um notes, Bianca, and stop fighting on these shows because it don't look good for you. You done been on this thing, what, two, three seasons now, and you still fighting hoes and moaning on here bringing hoes for you to fight. So you might want to get yourself together and take a, take notes from her, um, Mariah Lynn and actually learn to forgive and get and move the hell along. We ain't telling you you got to hold the girl like Beyonce, like Mariah Lynn and Dream. All uh, we want you to do is 
squash that shit. Like it been, it's dead. It basically a dead, tired horse at this moment. Why are you still trying to fight this girl? Why are you still mad at this girl? You said you forgave the man. It's time to move the hell on now. Um, dream. Nope. Let's go ahead and get Bianca all the way out the fucking way. Bianca. Now, Mariah Lynn tried to help you out, tried to do you a little favor, tried to get you a little shine, tried to help you at least grow without fighting hoes and beating up hoes. Tell me again why you said what you said in Safari and why you did this and why Mariah Lynn basically tried to set you up to look pretty, getting you on this song, try to give you a little bit of shine. Why did you decline this again? I mean, you ain't got money growing on trees, and you ain't got no money to in your yard. Uh, um, a song ain't nothing but a song. They, they done did their verses. You go in there, do your verses, do your thing, move on. Like, you really gonna let a beef with a girl for 10, 12, 20, 30 years, however long it been, stop your money. Well then, Bianca, you got a lot of growing up to do and insult and um and insult in safari like you did calling that man a big head and all that. That ain't doing you no favors. Like Mariah Lynn vouched for you, she went out for you, she went a limb, she went out on a limb on you, and that's the thing she get. Basically, nope, I don't want to do it cause um Brittany on the deal on the thing and I can't stand her. And I'm not gonna do it in. Thank you, but no thank you. Just like you made up with Britney and Dream. Now I'm mad at you, and I'm going to throw um, salt in your face now because you tried to help me out, but I don't want it. I'm throwing it back in your face, making you look like the ass for trying to help me out here. Bianca, you got a lot of damn growing up to do. Doing. Dream, I thought you had a lot of um, growing up to do, but I, you made it up. You made it up like... You were mad at Britney for making up with um. You were mad at Britney for making up with Mariah Lynn. Your mama talked some sense into you. You realized you were childish and petty. You and Mariah Lynn got to get along regardless. Like I'm glad y'all squashed the beef. Y'all on the same damn label for crying out loud. What the two y'all two helpers need to be fighting for anyway? So every event y'all do together, y'all can't either. Go out in the blood bath or y'all gonna pull each other weaves out each other's head. Yeah, I'm glad y'all made up because it was really dumb while y'all was up there fighting too. And I don't understand it though. But like I said, jump in, jump in, trying to save a friend, trying to help my friend out so I can understand. But I'm glad you made it up and you moved the hell on and you did your thing. Safari, at this point, you literally waited too long to realize that Yandy was trying to take over your song, even take over your shine with that remix of that song. I don't know how I feel about that song. It, it got a nice beat to it. I don't know about the lyrics and all that. I think I like Mariah Lynn lyrics out of all the songs. I don't know what the hell Jaquay was doing in Safari. So sound like he was yelling through the whole damn song. Yeah, yeah, er, uh, er. Uh. Er. So, I think Mariah Lynn was the only one I liked it. I think I liked it Britney, too. I'm not for sure, though. But you waited too late. Once she in to get her... Want Shandy to get her clutches on something? Good luck trying to convince Shandy otherwise that she ain't gonna have no parts of this song. Ain't like she rapping or singing on the song. She want control over the song. I'm glad you told Juju about it. Juju gave you wonderful advice telling her you need to tell her that this is your thing, not her thing. She got no control over it. She didn't have control of St. Martin. Y'all can say that to y'all blue in the face neither. That was Mona idea, Mona script. Y'all just reacting it, and Mona paid for that trip with helps of VH1 and the shop they islanding out in that um hotel or wherever here y'all was staying in. That was not um Yandy um idea for that trip. Yandy ain't got money like that. She might got money, but she ain't got no Saint Martin money like that to have all them fly over there like that. Y'all can give her all the credit y'all want to, but um she might got the credit for helping them people out in their time of need. I give her credit for that. For as for putting the trip together and coming to home. 
that was Mona Scripp and Mona Wright, and that was not none of you. And I'm not giving her credit for the St. Martin trip. I give her credit for helping the people out in their time of need. But that's about all the credit she going to get for me. Safari, slow down when it comes to Juju. You were doing good these last couple of times you and Juju had a day. I just gonna, I'm just going to need for you to slow it down a little bit. Maybe go back to talking like you was talking the first two times. Y'all chill down because now you kind of scaring her and now she wondering where the hell this coming from. And now you pushing her away. So I don't want that to happen. So far, this is the best girlfriend you ever in had. Ever since you've been on Love and Hip Hop, minus Nikki, I think so. Please don't fuck this up with your Jamaican accent and your goofy ass talk. Please let this be your number one bae, the best bae you didn't have. Please take Juju home to mama. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally begging you, please. Um, I think that's about it, all I had to say. Yup, that's about all I had to say. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.